Good morning. I am having coffee on the veranda, as we call it, in Yukon, Oklahoma. As you can tell, this is a not quite quiet and serene RV park because we are literally right off I-40. I've adjusted the viewpoint here so that you can see that, yes, those cars that you see behind me are indeed on I-40. Yeah, so it's not quite so quiet and serene here. It's very lit up at night. If you are looking for a rustic rural RV park, this is not it. However, this is a great spot if you're traveling and you want to be near a city. It definitely fits the bill because you can travel all over Oklahoma City area really easily by on and off I-40. So why did we come back to Oklahoma? Well, it's on our way back to Quartzsite, Arizona, where we're going to be snowbirds, but we also have grandkids here. So we wanted to make sure we saw them again this summer on the way back through. So here we are. And if, look at our map. We've done 12 states so far this summer. It's been a great summer for us, and we hope to get back on the road next summer and maybe fill in some of those states that still look a little blank in our RV adventure. If, if you look really close, you can probably see the Campground Collective sign in the background. They've got a great office set up, and they're very helpful when they check in. Um, they, wanted, they actually came out and made sure that we were able to fit in the spot. We were a little tight. I think I underestimated it, the length of our vehicle. And of course, it's the length that you need to connect to the utilities too. So I think that played a factor in it. But we did fit in the spot, so we're all good. And um, we're enjoying our stay here. So how's our setup here? Well, actually, it's pretty good. Um, we are able to put the Starlink dish out. It was a much easier setup than some of the more wooded areas we've been in. And so far we've had great reception on that. Not a problem at all. And also being here, we also have a plethora of cable channels if you want to watch TV in the evening, which we tend to do in the evening because it's been very hot here. You know, we did say earlier this summer that we thought that the spring had been awfully cold for us and we were looking for warmer weather. Well, we found it. We have had warm weather ever since Memorial Day. We're heading up towards Labor Day and I would say that all summer has been very hot where we've been. So that we have definitely found that goal for the summer. So you're probably wondering, what do we do on a Sunday in Oklahoma City area? Well, we're not sure yet. I'm shooting this video at 7 a.m. We'll find out what's going on in the surrounding area and see if it's going to be cool enough to uh, go out and explore too much. Um, but we'll probably do some shopping because we haven't really done that lately. And all of the stores that we'd like to see are actually within about a mile of here. So I think we'll probably be doing some of that today. There's also been some places that um, we haven't been able to go shopping at since um, probably in the last month or so because of where we were. We'll find them here. We already checked on Google and they're very accessible. Well, it's time for me to finish my coffee here on the veranda. Yes, I drink coffee in an insulated cup with a straw. I like it that way. Um, but if you found this video fun and enjoyable, and I hope you did because I had fun doing it, uh, please like and subscribe and we'll see you on the road soon.